As per this year's national budget, the Ministry of Sports, Youth and National Service received $330.9 million, which is 20% more compared to the last financial year. Dr. Audrey Mate, Director of Sports in the Ministry and one of the panelists on the show, welcomed the increment, saying every penny is needed. An increment on our budget uh, for whether sport youth or administration uh, is good news for us. Uh, we got uh, our, essentially our, our budget increased by 20% from the previous year. Uh, we are able to do a lot with $50 million that has been allocated uh, towards the construction of the stadium. But also there's a uh, $7 million that's an incremental, uh, almost automatically, that, that has been provided for. So that we, we are using both amounts uh, maximally because we need every dollar, every penny that we can collect from anyone else. Matthew Haikali, a former sports administrator, on the other hand, believes that what has been given is still not enough. If you do a proper breakdown of the budget, um, I think the increase for, for the ministry is around the 7 million. The 50, 50 million is actually for a capital project. So the budget for the ministry, while it looks like there's been an increase, um, from my perspective, uh, it's still not uh, good enough. Uh, as far as sports is concerned, it's not going to, to take us very far because the ministry is still handicapped. On the other side, Salomo Hay, an economist who was also a panelist on the show, could not figure out what the government wants to actually achieve within the sports sector. I don't know whether it's an inability for <coughs> us to understand where the value addition in sport lies uh, or is the lack of continuity in terms of what is it that we want to do with sports. The ministry still has to announce a breakdown of the budget among its main three directorates, namely sports, youth and national service.